Hello everyone, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out this short video preview of my new talk, Four Color Reality, How Comic Books and the Real World Shape Each Other. I'm T. Andrew Wolf, head of the Journalism and Media Communications program here at Ever Community College, where I also teach history of the American comic books. I'm also a past member of the Humanities Washington Speakers Bureau, and I'm hoping to return to the roster in order to bring this new talk to communities all across our state. As with my past conversation, I always start my uh, talks with communities with a couple of questions. The idea is to get them thinking as we go into the conversation about how the material they're about to learn uh, is relevant to their lives. In the case of this talk, I'm going to ask them to think about the comic book characters that they most identified with growing up and how this character might have influenced their reality and helped shape it. Uh, throughout my talk, then, I will come back and there will be opportunities uh, for people to engage in conversation and share out this information with the group. I also spend a little bit of time at the beginning of my talk uh, defining some terms. For example, this talk uh, will, will deal a little bit with reality, and I will talk about how different academic, academic disciplines will come uh, to reality and wrestle with that concept before ultimately settling on an Oxford Dictionary definition that is going to be kind of more familiar to, to the group of people that's gathered. Uh, other terms for this particular talk uh, that I'll be defining will be pop culture and comic studies, a relatively new field uh, where comic books are used to provide a historical lens to better understand American culture. During the next segment of my talk, I'm going to share a little bit about my background. The goal here is to both put the audience at ease with me as a person and also establish my academic credentials. Yes, it's true that I, I was able to study uh, comic books uh, in depth in grad school, but I'm also a lifelong comic book nerd, like many of the probable attendees for my talk. The next portion of our conversation would be an opportunity to share several covers and other images from comic book history, and actually to explore history as a whole, both from the comic book industry, from American society, and from the world. We might use a character like Spider-Man to explore the impacts of technology on society. This is a character who went from being uh, bitten by a radioactive spider to being bitten by a genetically modified spider, and a character whose professional career has taken him from a newspaper to a blog. Or we might use images like this from the World War II era to explore racial identity, propaganda, ethnic identity, um, and how to look at art within the context of a specific time. While both racist by today's standards, these two images here have very different intent if you understand uh, the artists behind them and what they were trying to do. We'll also look at a few of the social movements of the 20th century, such as the women's rights movement, often seen in the pages of Wonder Woman comics. Wonder Woman as a character has often gone back and forth from being a powerful feminist icon to being dismissed as a token sex symbol, often reflecting the larger problems women in American society are facing. The goal of this conversation is to share key moments from comic book history, but also to build on the recollections of the attendees at the talks. I hope I will have an opportunity to demonstrate this with the selection committee at the upcoming audition. Thank you very much for your time today.